better and who's not. And those people that aren't better than you, that think that they're better than you, will try to compete. Now, if you compete with them, and you spar with them, and you fight with them, as a martial artist, you will know to, to control your, your, your attacks so that you don't hurt the person too much. You know, you're just showing them what you could do, but you don't have to really hurt them. Now, that's what a martial artist would do. Now, a cage fighter wouldn't care. Like, somebody that's weaker that competes against them, he would just demolish them and um, hold nothing back. It's like he would um, go and beat, just beat him down and continue hitting him. You know, break his bones, break his nose, break his teeth, whatever. Just and and find pleasure in it. All right. So a martial artist would not do that. All right. Now, if you think about it in terms of the law, um, it's more, a little bit more clarified. As far as when you're taking it too far. All right. You're justified in the law to defend yourself, but you're not justified to further um, hurt the person more than you have to then to get away from the danger that you're in. So meaning, if somebody attacks you in the street, you're allowed to hit back and, and um, defend yourself until the, attack, the attacker is no longer a threat. But say you, you, you um, hit the person, you knock him on the ground, the person is down and you continue to hit him, then you become the um, the criminal, all right. You become the aggressor, all right. So there's always been that that um, old saying, you know, you don't hit a man when he's down. Now there is a reason for that. You know, when somebody's down, that's basically like them submitting and and basically um, yielding and saying that you um, that they don't want to fight any longer. Now with this um, MMA competition. They're trying to integrate wrestling with stand-up fighting. It makes it difficult. Now that 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 um that rule, you don't hit a man when he's down, is is has been abolished in that that type of competition. So because of that, it's making it um, really difficult for people to understand when when crossing the line is crossing the line. So if you if you abolish that rule, if you don't hit a man when he's down then it makes it very difficult for people to determine, you know, when it's going too far, you know, and that's, that, that's what is the confusion right now that I see is that just people that are just violent end up, um, that, that are just bullies and just want to beat people up and go too far with it, um, end up thinking that that's, thinking that they're marsh, that's martial arts and that's um, controlled the violence or whatever when it's really not. It's not controlled. Um, boxing, kickboxing, Thai boxing and just the basic stand-up fighting competitions where when the person's down you know you go to the other side of the corner and then the person gets time to get up. That is obvious you know um, Yielding, you know, allowing the person to gather himself and um, where the boxer is not allowed to go too far. All right. So that's been going on for many years. And that's what I mean. It's it's more controlled, um, more peaceful competition. But when you allow people to hit others when they're down, that's when it becomes... You know, um, too brutal, you know, it's no longer really, it can very easily turn into no longer just a healthy way of competition, but just step in the line and just being overly brutal and um, no longer healthy, no longer peaceful. And that that's, that's the issue that I see. To me, art always has a representation of peace in it. If there is no peace, then it ceases to be art. So, in competition fighting, 
it's not that all the competition fighters are not artists. But if there is no mixture of peace in their expression of their um, respective craft or, or sport or whatever, then it ceases to be art to me. There has to be... A, it's very, you know, it could go both ways. A sport fighter can very easily turn into a martial artist. And then a martial artist can very easily turn into a sport fighter. And it's your heart from within, the compassion that you have within, that determines that. And that is something where outside people, you know, that is something where it comes from within and it can't be represented by any uniform that you wear or or any certificate that you can gain. It's just a representation of your inner inner being. And if you have a good heart, then you could turn any anything into art. But if you don't if you have a bad heart and you just don't care about people and you like to see people suffer and you like to see people in pain and you like to take advantage of people, then you could corrupt any art and turn it into something ugly. Alright, so that is where I'm coming from. I'm not saying that all competition fighters are evil people, but I'm saying it's the way that you compete that makes the big difference. You know, you have to compete. If you are going to compete, you should compete with compassion and um, not hatred and anger. But competing with a friend is very different, different than competing with the enemy. When you're competing with the enemy, you know, that to me, it, it's not... There's no longer like a martial arts display of talent. It ends up becoming just um, two two adversaries um, um, trying to really hurt each other. You know, maybe like um, two prison fighters or something, or two um, two rival gangs that really want to hurt each other. It's just a small. It's just on a smaller scale when you do it by individuals, and you have them um, compete in a ring. You have two enemies competing against each other with no respect for each other. It's just a display, um, a televised display of pure violence. But if you have two people that um, that are friends, or two people that and two people that respect each other, and they're they're fighting to test their talents and, and their skill level, then that's more of an artful display of talent. All right, so what I see with this competition fighting, it's not, you know, boxing has been around for so long, so is kickboxing, so is Thai boxing. And then MMA comes in and they take away um, more rules, and they, they, they make the gloves smaller, they're trying to make it more realistic. To me, it's kind of like professional football with all the equipment, all the gear, and then another uh, organization setting up something else called professional brutal football, which has no gear at all. People have no helmets, no no pads, no nothing, and they play football like r regular professional football, and then they try to make it seem like it's better, when really it's not better, it's just really um, actually just more dangerous and more unhealthy than regular professional football. It ends up becoming more chances of injury, more um, just chances of people um, really hurting each other um, severely and it ends up becoming just a very dangerous sport 
and